I go home, I can't sleep. I can't sleep. I go home, I sit late and two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning, cannot fall asleep. Why? Don't know. I'm stressed. Anxious. The level of stress and anxiety in our lives has made it almost impossible for us to do even the most basic of human functions. That is how fucked you are. You cannot sleep, you cannot even shit properly. People are either shitting too much or not at all. <laughs> And you cannot even eat what you want. But the sleeping is the biggest problem. In the old days, your grandfather never had this problem in insomnia. They slept, even no matter how sad they were. Our forefathers slept. They go, actually, you go, oh, I'm stressed, I can't sleep. People were chased by fucking saber to tiger and managed to still sleep that night. <laughs> you got a few fucking projects, you can't fucking sleep. <laughs> Every person I meet needs somebody, something to make them sleep, need to take a tablet. Need to listen to meditation, calming sounds, sounds of whales fucking, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> That's the only way you can sleep. <laughs> cannot sleep, cannot shit, cannot even eat what you want. Where does all these problems coming from now? Where people can't eat this, can't eat that, everything is poisonous. Everything is an allergy, everything is intolerance. Fifty years ago, nobody had this problem. People ate whatever was there, no problem. Today you are so fucked from stress and anxiety and doctors will tell you that most of the modern medical problems that people experience today can be related to stress. That's why they say stress is a killer. And stress manifests itself in many different ways in the body. And one of the most common ways is in the gut, in the stomach. That is where all nerve endings are. So now, problem with the food. This allergy, that allergy, this fucking intolerance. Other day I was walking around London, very, very wealthy neighborhood. Very wealthy neighborhood. I knew this because everybody there was gluten intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> that is a very expensive problem to have. <laughs> no poor people are gluten intolerant. <laughs> Nobody, am I right? Yeah. You have to work two fucking jobs to be gluten intolerant. It's like a fashion. It's like a high-end fashion to be gluten intolerant. Only here it exists, in Europe, America, Australia, UK, that is it. All of you fuckers are gluten intolerant. <laughs> you go India, 1.5 billion people, not one gluten intolerant. <laughs>